assim. Aqui. Abri caju, 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 caju não vai, nem caju você, porque lá roi. On one occasion, a boy came to me and said, and I overheard him asking his mom, the Yoruba boy, was asking his mom that, mommy, um, our friends speak their own language, don't we have a language of our own? And uh, amazingly, the, um, the mother actually brushed it off as if, oh, don't worry about it. And actually overheard that, luckily the lady was my friend, so I said, ah, that's wrong, that you cannot say that, that is very important. That children have their own identity and know how to speak their own language. Because everyone else knows how to speak their own language and so on. So I think it builds confidence in self and an understanding of uh, their identity and their history and culture. Because as you know, Yoruba in particular, a lot of the culture is embedded in the language anyway. So a lot of cultural, um, um, cultural attributes are embedded in the language and it also prevents children from clashing with their parents in the future because if the children are speaking and um, uh, speaking and resolving the issues in their mind in English and parents are thinking and uh, sort of like um, translating their thoughts from Yoruba into English at some stage there will be a clash because both languages have their own um, perception of uh, things, their own perception of the world and so on. And that's why I think that uh, it's good for parents and children and family to be on an even keel culturally, ancestrally and uh, yeah, culturally and ancestrally and linguistically. Yeah, there are many ways that I've kind of like um, sort of like managed to stumble upon and observe. I think the first one is is to have is to make sure simple words flow in conversation. Um, in schools, what they do, they tend to use flashcards, and I suggest that what parents should do is have flashcards, but also Yoruba flashcards. So if if you have words like um, bag or food, house, and so on, also have those words in Yoruba. The real main best way to do it would be to actually speak a few words or a few phrases at a time and try and encourage the children to speak those phrases. <clears throat> For instance, if they're hungry or they want to go out or they need to use the ease themselves uh, in the laboratory or so on. Just to get used to these basic phrases. Ibn Pami, Mufer Jadi, Mufer Sun. Basic things like that. And to learn politeness. Ejo, Mufer Lu Balwe. Or at the same token, if they want to be grateful, just basics like that. And also to make the children understand that Yoruba is actually easily spoken because a lot of the names are actually, are actually readily available phrases in the language. For instance, Ebun is means gift. So a child could say, ah, I'm thankful for your gift. Or, a child could say Mudupe and Ebun, and Dupe are both names. Um, you also have, if something is big, like Tobi, you could say, <coughs> you could say, um, Iwe Yi Tobi, this book is big. Or, Yoni Orinla, somebody has a big head. As a jest, so you could even bring in jokes as well, just to make sure certain words are flowing in the vocabulary. Because the more children hear something, the more it sticks. If you say it only once, it goes to short-term memory and they're forgetting it, but the more they hear things like Iyonu uh, Wahala, even though Wahala is Hausa, but Wajegba, Lojoku, Dide, basic words of instruction, Lokawi, Jam Jam Jam, Yaititi, Eshewiri, hurry up, you know, basic words like that, and also things like shoes, Bata, Buba, Ileke, Fila, Shokutu. They're always going to use them because a lot of these, because Europeans too are using them. <coughs> Excuse me, so they could even ask them, Hey, your mommy, Abi, Baba, Ufera, Share, Nera, Shubutu, Kupa, Kumi. They like it. So things like that. And the Tabi, Bata, Dudu, Black um, um, Shoes, and so on. So, first of all, basic words, 
But pick about 10 or 20 words and use them regularly. And every language you need about 10 or 20 words to start off your speaking that language. Words like mother, father, please, thank you, where, when, um, <clears throat> man, woman, boy, girl, daddy, father, clothing, and so on. About 20 words, every culture will need them. Water, drink, the food. And then just gradually start with verbs. And then before you know it, with the vocabulary that is increasing, you notice that the children have a greater grasp of the language.